Hi, it's Dave T here and earlier this year I was due to go to Project X in Leicester to film what would have been the second dynamic action shooting event to be held in the UK. Now, unfortunately, like the rest of life, the DAS event has been postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic, which has left another gap in my filming schedule. Well, hopefully at some point the DAS event will be rescheduled and I'm sure I'll be, I will be up there filming it. However, in the meantime, I had also promised Typhon to create some photography and some video content for their website. And I've now got hold of a collection of kind of cool airsoft guns and some time on my hands. So this video is going to show a behind the scenes view of actually filming and creating some product photos for um, of airsoft guns for an airsoft club website. Let's start. So the first thing we need to do now is, when doing any product photography, is to find a scene or a setting back, backdrop on which to actually put the products themselves. So this sheet of OSB will be perfect as a nice rough textured backdrop. Especially when we add some graffiti. So, Ed from the Typhon Airsoft Club has been kind enough to lend us a whole stack of bits and pieces, accessories to go with the airsoft uh, equipment so that we can set a scene that just really kind of uh, sets off and puts the guns in some kind of context. So uh, let's set up a scene and that's the next day in the project. Okay, so we've basically got the general scene set up with some separation vertically between the main focus point, the gun, and the, the props around it, and uh, lots of texture in the back. So now, next thing to do is to concentrate on the lighting. So at the moment I'm using a Godox 60W, because I'm doing video work as well, I'm not using flash, and that's on just a large dome, but not a softbox. So we're gonna try that with a snood, to cut down the beam and make it much more dramatic. And also we'll add some secondary lighting with this uh, Bowling Cine Light uh, for, to get additional lighting from other directions. So let's try that now. So now we've got the lighting pretty much set up how I want it. We've got the scene set. What it basically is a case of doing now is going for the different guns. I've got the Canon 80D set up above on a C stand so I can get top down views. And I'm gonna be using the Canon EOS R to do additional shots and some video stuff. And so let's see how that works out.
I hope you found the behind the scenes footage useful on how I go about creating some of these photos. I'll put some of the final photos at the, and video clips at the tail end of this video. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have, then please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos I make, then please consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.